Good morning. This is uh, Tuesday, June 22nd. I'd like to begin by wishing uh, Kippy Merrill a happy birthday. I think Kippy's about 150 years old, so happy birthday, Kippy. Hope you have a good birthday. And a happy anniversary to my daughter, Chrissy, and her husband, Chad. I think it's 19 years today. I can't believe that, 19 years. But have a good anniversary, kids. Go out and do something special. And I'd also like to promote the Bible study that's tonight. Uh, we're studying the screw tape letters by C.S. Lewis. We're looking at the uh, correlation between these letters and how the enemy tries to trip up Christians. So if you can make it tonight at 6.30, Casey Hall. Today's devotion is the unchanging law of judgment. This is Matthew 7. With what judgment you judge, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. This statement is not some haphazard theory, but it's an eternal law of God. Whatever judgment you give will be the very way you are judged. There's a difference between retaliation and retribution. Jesus said the basis of life is retribution, or judgment. With the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So how you judge, you will be judged. If you have been shrewd in finding out shortcomings of others, remember that will be exactly how you will be measured by God. The way you pay is the way life will pay you. Are you free? Are you free-spirited when you give stuff off? Or do you have strings attached? Are you stingy? So he's saying the way you pay things out is the way you're going to get paid back. This eternal law works from God's throne down to us. That's Psalm 18. Romans 2.1 applies it in an even more definitive way by saying that the one who criticizes another is guilty of the very same thing that criticizes him. God looks not only at the act itself, but also at the possibility of committing it, which he sees by looking at our hearts. To begin with, we do not believe the statements of the Bible. For instance, do we really believe the statement that says we criticize in, what we criticize in others are the very things that we're guilty of ourselves? Do we believe that from God's Word? The reason we see hypocrisy, deceit, and a lack of genuineness in others is that because they're probably there in our own hearts. A great song, Search Me, O Lord, I love that song. The greatest characteristics of a saint is humility, as evidenced by being able to say honestly and humbly, yes, all those as well as other evils would have been exhibited in me if it, if it were not for the cross and the grace of God. Therefore, I have no right to judge. Jesus said, judge not, that you not be judged. Matthew 7, 1. He went on to say, in effect, if you do judge, you will be judged in the exact same way. Who of us would dare to stand before God and say, My God, judge me as I have judged others. Isn't that a scary statement? We have judged others as sinners. If God should judge us in the same way, we would be condemned to hell. Yet God judges us on the basis of the miraculous atonement of the cross of Jesus Christ. The challenge I have today is I want you to find somebody in your life that can upset you. Somebody that you can pick on very easily. You can gossip about. You can criticize. You have very little sympathy for them. And I'd like you to think that God loves that person as much as he loves you. He wants that person redeemed as much as he wants to redeem you. Ephesians 6 says we wrestle not with flesh and blood. It's not the person. So pick somebody today that can tweak your nose real easily and pray for them and see them as God's grace sees them. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you uh, have sent the grace of God down, and we can live in that through freedom of salvation. Lord, if we have a critical spirit, if we are caught in the trap of gossiping and, and talking of others, I pray, Father, you would redeem us today and free us from that. And Lord, as we look at people around us, let us see them as you see them. You love that face as much as you love this face. Let us see that, and know but for the grace of God, there go I. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.